This is a quick tutorial on how to use the UFLY Virtual Blending Board. When you arrive at the blending board, you will first need to authenticate using one of the options below. Once you've authenticated, you'll come to a screen with a data request. We are hoping to use data that we collect through users to find out how the app is being used and how we can improve it. So we request that you um, select yes, but if you select no, you can still go on and use the app. Once you've answered that question, it will take you to this screen where you'll see the basic selection of the letters of the alphabet in their initial, medial, and final positions along with the option to use a silent E at the end of the word. If you would like to change the selections of letters or letter combinations, you would select the, the lines at the top right corner of the page, click on that, and it will take you to this screen where you can choose other letters or letter combinations to use in each position. Once you have the letters that you want selected, you click on the check mark and it will show you a new screen with whatever letters you selected. So let's see what this looks like in action. I'll select this the lines up at the top and then I can select or deselect all of a category or I can just select individual tiles for that category. So I'll select all of the initial category. Those are pretty commonly used. And then in the others, rather than selecting all, I think I'll just select some based on what my students have learned so far. You'll notice that some letters are not in each position because they're either they either don't occur at that point in the word or there's something special about them. So for example, F, L, S, and Z at the end of a word with a short vowel very seldom appears in isolation. It usually is doubled. So these are put down here so that they aren't part of the um, default selection. If you wanna use those, maybe you're gonna use um, some vowel teams and spell a word like leaf. So you need a, a, an individual F. You can select that. There are, are also blends down here. Now, we don't teach blends as a unit. We teach them as individual sounds. But as far as appearing on the blending board, we only have initial, medial, and final positions. So if we want more than one letter or more than um, a three letter word, then in a lot of cases, we're gonna need to have multiple letters on one tile that are not representative of a single phony. So I can select the uh, consonant blends that I wanna use, the vowel teams that I wanna use, and the ending blends that I want to use. Always good to have some ending digraphs as well. There are more choices down here, including some pretty long, complicated ones. The idea here is that your student um, doesn't need to see all of these at once. So that's why we just have you select the ones that you want. Once you've selected all the items that you want, you can come up here and click the check mark. Oh, I think I'll select the S at the end as well. So this way it's not quite as overwhelming as having all of the letters selected. So once I have my letters selected, I'll come up here and spell a word. Pretty straightforward. So my student can then read the word for me. So the student's focus is intended to be up here on the word itself, but I can come up here and change that word one letter at a time, changing just one 
particular position. So if I select here, it changes this part. If I select here, it changes the middle sound. And if I select something over here, it changes the last sound. So I can select whichever part I want. Now you'll notice that a lot of these um, letter tiles are grayed out. That means if I picked one, it would give me a nonsense word. Now I can pick it if I want to use a nonsense word, but it's a really great cue for me as the teacher to know that, you know, which ones are possible. So with this medial and final sound, there are only a few words that are possible. Now of those, I only actually really know two of these words. So just because it's a real word doesn't mean it's a word that you will know what it means but it is a, a nice cue to have that there. So one of the other options you have are the um, silent E at the end. So you can add that or click the blank to take it off. Similarly, the blank appears in the um, initial and final positions as well. So if you just want to show a word without an initial consonant, you could click the blank as well. You might also notice that over here, it keeps track of the last words that you've made. So if for any reason you want to go back to those and show students any of these, you've got them listed right there. If you select all of the letters, it will look like this, which is a little bit busy. However, there's a solution if you're using this in Zoom. Zoom has a feature in their advanced screen sharing options where you can share only part of your screen. The green rectangle here indicates that my students can only see this part of my screen. So from the student view, it looks like this, which is a much better option than having all of the letters showing at once. So now you're ready to use the Ufly Virtual Blending Board. Enjoy!